Hey, St. Stephen Church family, I'm so excited to be joined today by my good friend, Mr. Darcy Thompson with the Louisville Story Program. And today we're talking all about getting an opportunity to see our history through the eyes of Black photographers from the past in this beautiful new edition of Louisville Magazine in collaboration with the Louisville Story Program. Good morning, Mr. Darcy. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Crystal. Thank you so much for having me. Well, Darcy, real quick, for those that are unfamiliar with your work and the Louisville Story Program, go ahead and brief us on what the Louisville Story Program is and uh, its purpose. We're, we're a, a literary arts, mostly nonprofit uh, here in town, and our mission is to uh, amplify and heard voices and untold stories in our community. Um, what we mean by that is we uh, work really closely with uh, folks in Louisville uh, who, for whatever reason, their voice and their stories historically have not been given the biggest platform. Well, one project that a lot of people may be familiar with is the project that you all did with Bud Dorsey. Uh, West Louisville loved, well, Louisville loved photographer Bud Dorsey, and we tell him the just uh, consistent teller of our stories. Uh, you all helped get his story out in a beautiful book. And so the latest project is a collaboration with the Louisville, uh, with um, Louisville Magazine. So talk about this month's edition of the Louisville Magazine. And I love the cover because this is one of the black photographers that worked for the Louisville Defender. And so just a little bit of um, this edition reaches back into the rich history of Louisville and shares with the city the name of a man some may not recognize, but he was a mighty force in our community. Frankly, L. Stanley Sr. I'm throwing a lot of questions uh, to you at once because I'm so excited. But real quick, talk about how this collaboration came to be with Louisville Magazine and then tell us about Frank L. Stanley Sr. Absolutely. Um, like you said, there all those topics will require a lot, a lot of time to really cover adequately. <laughs> right. And indeed, just... there's a lot of work to be done in the coming years to, to do that work still. This magazine is just one little moment. Um, but the story, the impetus of this particular magazine is um, there have the there it's been kind of difficult for anyone doing uh any number of projects in our community, for example, the, um, you know, when uh, Dr. Hudson and Mirva Obispin and Ken Clay were putting together two centuries of Black Louisville, yeah. um, looking for a photographic record of particular, specifically of Black life in Louisville over the years, uh, because there isn't really like a comprehensive archive of that work. Um, after looking at this, I walked away feeling full of pride that we come from such a great people, such a talented people, such a prideful people. And uh, we thank you so much, Darcy, for helping to tell our stories. Uh, could you let our congregation know how they can get a copy of this beautiful project? So the, it's, it's available at Carmichael's Bookstore for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and they use a third-party distributor at Louisville Magazine. So I know it's in some Kroger's and some Meyer stores and some Walgreens. Or you can email us at hello at louisvillestoryprogram.org. Um, also, if you get this magazine and you recognize anything in here and you have some history that you want to add to these photos, we'd love to hear from people um, so we can add that to it and keep building this together. Um, over time so that we have a bigger, better and better record of history for future generations to go back to and research. So contact us and we can make that happen. Thank you so much, Mr. Darcy Thompson with the Louisville Story Program. Don't delay, go out and get your copy today. This will make a really great Christmas gift. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Darcy, for telling our stories.